Uh, what's good, my people, man? Welcome to my Afterthought series. Welcome to my video. And then it's just basically uh, part two of my don't, why you shouldn't believe in the Illuminati. Because in the last video, I basically explained to y'all about who the true Illuminati was, who the original the Illuminati group, the group that actually used that name, okay? I explained to you that that group originally had nothing to do with evil deeds. They had nothing to do with blood sacrifice. They had nothing to do with the devil at all. I tell y'all this already, that group believed in scientifics, okay, scientific facts of the earth. That group studied the earth, they studied medicine, they studied all kinds of stuff pertaining to human life, okay. They, that group did not necessarily believe in what the church believed in, that's why they had to go underground, because the church considered them devils when they actually wasn't, okay. I tell y'all that already, I'll tell you about that true Illuminati. I also tell y'all in my last video, those that watched it, that this other Illuminati that people referred to as being an evil organization, that name is just used as a term, okay? It's just a word used to basically describe these trillionaire, these millionaire owners, these trillionaires, okay? These people who have all these organizations such as the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they call them Illuminati because they think they're evil, all right? I'll tell you this. But in this, and I also tell you all the reason why black folks can't be a part of no organization, okay? If you look at what happened to black history over the last 500 years, you understand why why it's unnecessary to be calling black people part of that organization. Now, in this video specifically, I'm going to tell you who's all the ones responsible for basically using that propaganda. The ones who basically been going around spreading these lies. The ones who basically are the main ones talking about it. I'm going to explain to you where this all comes down to, all right? First off, okay, back when I was a kid growing up in the 1990s, wasn't nobody really talking about the Illuminati at all. Okay, none of my family were talking about it. My friends wasn't even talking about it. None of that stuff came into no sense to the light. Okay, I believe there were some people who knew about the Illuminati, but they was never really discussing it because it was irrelevant in that time. Okay, for some reason along the line, the, this generation before mine has gotten so freaking confused that it's just ridiculous. Okay, because you can't watch TV nowadays. You can't look at sports. You can't look at hardly nothing that pertains to a celebrity. A black one at that, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time you look at Jay-Z, Beyonce, every time something happens in the Super Bowl, people want to bring up the Illuminati. They want to bring up the devil, which is really absurd. It's ridiculous because why somebody that's on television got to be going through something evil just to get to where they are, okay? This is what I don't understand. Why, when it comes to somebody acting on these TV shows, okay, they doing these movies, why they got to always got to do something gay just to get a role, Okay? Why they got to go through something satanic? It's not like that all necessarily all the time. Matter of fact, most of that stuff doesn't even happen, okay? Let me just clear that up right now. i got people who I know in the industry right now. I've been to casting calls, you know. I've been to, I've talked with producers, you know what I'm saying, at the Los Angeles Film School, which was the last college I've been to. I, I talked to actual producers who basically work with these artists. They even tell me themselves they don't believe in no Illuminati. There's no such thing, Okay? So I don't understand why all this stuff could be keep going on because if you notice, and I've done my research myself on this stuff, okay? All this devil worship and Illuminati stuff, I've done my own research. But every time, every research I've done, the more deep I go into it, it all keeps pointing me back to the same thing. It's like you hitting a robot. Okay, you're never going to know who the real true members are anyway. But see, my thing is, is that if you notice, everybody who ever talks about the Illuminati it's literally two types of people, okay? One of the main two people who talk about the Illuminati, for one, is either somebody that's basically profiting from it, okay? They're going on YouTube and they get views. If you know, it's the, way, the main ones who talks about satanic rituals and they talk about the Illuminati and they bring up these artists' names and these entertaining celebrity names, they're either doing it for views, they're doing it to promote, basically they book or CD or whatever they're doing, or they making money from it. So basically they profiting from these artists name. Okay. Or two you got the type of people who are basically either just jealous. They broke. They mad as hell. They mad because they career ain't going to where, it wants, where, they, where they needed to go. So they bring up the Illuminati. They accuse somebody else of doing something evil to get to where they are. Or they accuse somebody of sacrificing their own family. Which again if y'all see a lot of my videos. I think that shit is stupid as hell. And excuse my language but that's just how I feel. It's dumb as hell, man, to be thinking like that. Because why somebody got to be sacrificed their family to get fame when they were already good enough to get to where they got to get to? 
So I'm going to tell you the person who's been, the main person who I think has been behind this. Okay, so in my last video, I told you that it's white folks. A lot of the Caucasians created, okay? The Illuminati was created by white conspiracists, okay, who are so-called Christian, okay? They use the Illuminati because they don't understand symbolism. They don't understand our people's success at all, okay? I told y'all this already. It's been a lot of racism. Racism is not going anywhere, okay? Especially if you black, man. Look at everything that's going on to my black people the last 500 years, and you understand how society sees us, okay? I told y'all, the Illuminati theory that they use, man, is not, like I said, it has nothing to do with that scientific group. I'll tell you, that's the original Illuminati, but this Illuminati is used to basically accuse people of doing some evil deeds, okay? Worshiping the devil, you know, having to do a blood sacrifice, have to do rituals to get into entertainment so it can make the money they make. And again, I told y'all that it's mostly black folks. And why? It's because of racism. Now, there's a, um, there's a pastor known as G. Craig Lewis, okay? So, so for those that watch Truth About Hip Hop, you know exactly who this is. Okay, this man has gone around to different churches around the United States and probably going over the world, and he preaches about the truth about hip-hop, okay? But if you notice in his videos, it's mostly trying to destroy hip-hop. He accused all these artists of doing satanic things. He talks about evil spirits in these videos, worshiping the devil, devil influence in music. And he talks about the Illuminati in most of his videos, okay? But what I'm trying to figure out is the same, a lot of these, some of these same artists that he talks about, He's accused of being part of these secret societies that's all for one, they're denied it. But two, you know what I'm saying? There's no proof that any of that is actually going on. He has no proof that any of these artists actually sold their soul at all. Okay? All G. Craig Lewis has been doing has been using his um PowerPoint to put satanic images in those things, and he tries to look at lyrics. Now, for those that know about music, you know about rap music in general, you know about the entertainment, most of that stuff is just for entertainment purpose anyways, okay? That's exactly what it is. Most of that stuff really doesn't have no meaning behind it. It's just artists doing what they're doing for entertainment. Because for one, let's let's just look at the gate. Let's just look at just gangster rap music, okay? Since he brought up Tupac in one of his videos. Most of these artists that's doing music about shooting somebody, drive-bys, all this other stuff, they're not basically living what they write, okay? Most of them ain't a part of the life they put into it. It's just them doing music. Because if most of them wasn't really about that life, then most of them be going to jail. The FBI or the CIA would have been taking them down already and been took them away. Look at Tay K. Look at C Murder. Look at T Grizzly. Look at all these artists who actually went by and went to jail behind their lyrics. Look at Bobby Smyrna. He's doing jail time because he really wrote. He really, he really um, lived what he wrote. This dude really shot somebody. Really did drugs. Really did what he said in his music. And now he's in behind bars now. Ain't getting out anytime soon. Okay. Jay Z. Has told the world, he's told, he's done more than one interview denying being a part of the Illuminati. Okay? He said this more than once. For those, I dare any one of y'all to watch Reasonable Doubt, listen to Reasonable Doubt, the album, and look at the song that says, Illuminati, oh Lord Jesus, can you save it? Illuminati want my mind, so my body. He denies this. In the actual song of Lucifer, he tells you about the devil, okay? He's trying to get evil spirits away from him. He tells you this. First of all, G. Craig Lewis. Why in the hell would Jay-Z make a song called 666 Murder Jesus? That is stupid as hell. First of all, folks, let me explain something to y'all. If Jay-Z really made a song disrespecting God like that, don't you know he would have been blackballed already out the industry? You know how many fans he'll lose because of that? If y'all think he that disrespectful to do that type of song and put something like that backwards and disrespect his music, y'all are out of y'all freaking minds. See, this is a problem with the church right now, man. I'm going to explain to this right now. This is why G. Craig Lewis is more of a problem than he is a solution. Because too many church folks take things way too seriously. They take they, uh, Christianity overboard. They take it to a T. They go overboard with it, okay? And then y'all often go and misjudge people who aren't doing something you think they're doing. It's bare false witnessing, okay? Matter of fact, how many of y'all have actually researched everything G. Craig Lewis has told y'all in them videos, okay? What, he has like 11 or 15 or 17 of them? I, I dare I dare anybody to actually go back on them videos, look at what he tells y'all, and go on Google and research everything he told y'all. You'll come to find out that 50% of that stuff is actually false. It's fake, okay? Yeah, the Alistair Crowley stuff is true. Yeah, there have been people in rock and heavy metal mills that have been worshiping the devil, but that's nothing new. There have been other artists that have been known to worship the devil, okay? But most of it don't come out of hip-hop. Let's just keep this out the way now, okay? 
You see, for some reason, G. Craig Lewis has a personal vendetta against destroying hip hop. Like I told you in my last video, he think that hip hop is all bad. All hip hop is of the devil, which it really isn't. Because if G. Craig Lewis really paid attention to these lyrics, you got artists like Public Enemy, okay, Onyx, N.W.A. They tell you N.W.A. was basically telling you about what's going on in the community with officers harassing them. Public Enemy was against what the system was, how the system was destroying their black people, okay. They was against slavery acts, okay? Public enemy was against basically empowering the black people with Professor McGriff. They had nothing to do with no damn Illuminati. Nothing to do with no satanic crap, okay? African Bambada got his music from Africa. See, G. Craig Lewis, if G. Craig Lewis studied African culture and he studied symbolism and what it really stood for, he understand that it has nothing to do with the fucking devil. I'm getting tired of that, this bullshit, okay? Yeah, I'm cussing because I'm freaking I'm fed up, okay? People like G. Craig Lewis is what's wrong with black folks, especially today. This is why black people can't ne never just work hard for what they want. They can't go for their dreams because you got people like that, that bare false witnessing preacher that's going around telling lies. Because all he basically is is telling freaking lies. That man don't know nothing about black history at all. He doesn't know nothing about his culture. Okay? Like I told y'all, G. Craig Lewis still don't understand that racism still exists. G. Craig Lewis don't understand that black folks don't run Hollywood at all. They'll never have no kind of power like that at all. Black people ain't trying to worship no damn devil. Tupac, since he brought up Tupac in his videos, oh, the devil demands a sacrifice. Tupac was against the freaking devil. See, that lets me know that G. Craig Lewis don't listen to none of Tupac's music at all. He doesn't, okay? That's what y'all gotta stand right now, okay? Y'all gotta wake up and y'all gotta wake up and stop being so judgmental. Stop pointing the freaking finger. And maybe this is why God didn't came back because too many church folks is out here disrespecting the Ten Commandments. Okay, how are you going to put judgment on somebody you don't live with them? I guarantee y'all folks, G. Craig Lewis don't know half these people he's really talking about at all. He wasn't with them when he got signed. He wasn't with them when they in the studio at all. He don't know these people personally. Okay? So how can G. Craig Lewis assume somebody is doing satanic work? Okay? Y'all got to understand something. These directors and these music videos can put wherever they want. And he's art music, okay? They know who they pick out, right? Basically, Beyonce could do a photo shoot and just do it and just do a certain pose. The director could put a certain image in her music to make it seem what it, it was to make it seem like something that's there when it really isn't. Like G. Craig Lewis had to what the pop that little Baphomet symbol on uh, on Beyonce posing with the with a motorcycle. For all we know, that could be a line. But they put certain imagery for stuff he don't understand. Okay? Beyonce has talked about God more than once. Look at that song called Pray For Me that Jay-Z did as American Gangster. That's Beyonce doing the song, doing the hook, okay? If they make a song about God, then why would they make a song? Why would they be worshiping the devil? That's sweet dreams for a beautiful nightmare. That's just what it is. Just sweet dreams. Beyonce ain't trying to do nothing satanic at all. That woman was raised in a church. Her family raised her in a church home. She was doing music since she was young. But see, I don't see he, I don't see G. K. Lewis breaking up no Destiny Child stuff because he not brings in Kelly and Michelle. See, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop believing everything you hear. G. K. Lewis has made thousands, amongst millions of dollars, talking about black folks in them in a Truth About Hip Hop series. Okay, D. M. X. Yes, that for Darkman S. But D. M. X. has gave honor to God. He's acknowledged God in his songs. Matter of fact, look at his album, and then there was X. Okay, there are songs he called talking about in the name of Jesus. So if DMX is making a song about that, how can he be doing evil deeds? Yeah, the man tells you about the devil, about people giving their souls to the devil, but he also gives honor to God. Because he knows what he did is wrong, but he's going to acknowledge God for who he truly is. He ain't going to disrespect God like that. Okay? See, this is the problem with black folks. See, G. Craig Lewis is obviously smart than what you appear to be. He's, he's obviously smart, right? G. Craig Lewis has found a way to capitalize off this conspiracy theory. Because he knows a lot of these black people in these churches are easily misled. He knows for a fact that everything he tells them, they're not gonna go on, they're not gonna do no research against it at all. They're gonna believe everything he hears and tells them. G. Craig Lewis knows this already. That's why he's able to make so many videos, he's able to profit from it. The man is sitting on millions of dollars making truth about hip hop videos, squinting Lingy's artist name, which is clearly messed up and low down. Okay? Everybody in the industry ain't doing that satanic crap. They ain't got nothing to do with that. Tupac was against the damn devil. He hated the devil. He thought of them because you understand this too. Tupac was a Muslim. He came from a Muslim family. His mama, I don't want to say Muslim, scratch that. He wasn't exactly Muslim. He was a black panther, okay? Excuse me. But even then, man, some of these Muslims ain't even bad either. They hate the white, they think of the white man as the devil, okay? 
You got artists in the industry that is Muslim. Tupac's family came from the Black Panther movement, all right? They naturally couldn't stand. They thought it was the white man. They hate the white devil because of what happened to their people. Tupac was tired of his people being oppressed. He was tired of his people always being lynched and beaten and raped. He got tired of that. He talks about it in his music. Tupac was all about basically raising up his black folks. But Tupac also did stuff outside of camera as far as gangster stuff, okay? But y'all got to start believing everything G. Craig Lewis tells you, okay? Because everybody don't go in with no eyes to Carly. Everybody don't got no 666 on their songs. Every black artist you see ain't out here with no upside down symbolism with the crosses or nothing like that. Lil Wayne ain't worshiping the devil at all. He has nothing to do with that type of shit at all. Y'all need to stop believing that. That I know for a fact. I, I, there's a, um, a drummer, a friend of mine who used to go to the, ch to the church I used to, uh, that I go to called uh, Love and Unity. Shouts out to Keenan. He don't go there no more because the pastor and first lady them told him he can't be supposedly worshiping devil music and praising God when he's just a drummer. He's a professional, okay? The man got his make his money. But this is what he told me about Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, all Lil Wayne does is go on his tour bus or go on his private jet plane and, and record music. Lil Wayne is working all the time. Lil Wayne ain't got time to be doing no gay stuff, worshiping no devil. None of that is going on in Lil Wayne's life, okay? And this is a professional drummer that's played for Lil Wayne and his bands, okay? So y'all got to understand this, man. Everybody you see that's, that you see on television ain't evil, okay? And let's look at some of these other successful entertainers. Let's look at Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, Morris Chestnut, Lorenz Tate, okay? Those particular entertainers, no, they, ain't, they don't got to worship no devil. They ain't doing nothing gay. You'll never see them wearing a dress. You'll never see them kissing another dude. Why? Because they don't play that crap. They come from a whole other generation and they didn't tolerate none of that stupidity. But somewhere along the line, you got people like G. Craig Lewis that found ways to try to spew the uh, hatred, spew the confusion. So I suggest anybody who watches the Truth About Hip Hop videos, go and do your own research. Don't just take his word for it. Like he had the nerve to come to say that Illuminati, he had the nerve to say that the Dallas Cowboys are Illuminati symbol. His ass is stupid as hell, man. Since when is an NFL team, the Cowboys, a star that represents the Cowboys, represents Westernized culture got to do with the Illuminati, got to do with something being evil. It's dumb as hell, man. The McDonald's symbol, why does that have to be evil? But once again, man, y'all got to take what he told you with a grain of salt and do your own research. I don't like how you talking about Bishop T.D. Jakes, how he's talking about Mary Mary. You're not supposed to talk about other people of God, okay? That's not your that's not your that's not your will to pass judgment. And that's all he's basically doing, passing judgment. Then try to use the word of God to try to justify that he's right when he's actually wrong. Come on, for real. Go and look, research everything he told y'all. Research that stuff about Nimrod. Research that stuff about the pyramid. Research that stuff about all this. But I'm gonna tell y'all some hard facts that G. Craig Lewis would never tell you. I'm telling you, man, this is where all this Illuminati stuff come from. Black folks wasn't talking about the Illuminati until he came around with that Truth About Hip Hop video, okay? And I told y'all, other people like Mark Dice, racist ass on YouTube, people like Zachary K. Hubbard, these are people that go around that use your mantra or they basically use a Christianity to basically twist everything around and make you believe that my skin color, my people are the evil ones. My people are going around sacrificing people, okay? That they're that messed up. They're that evil. Why? Because I told you, man, these racist white supremacy think of us as being the devil. They take our culture, they twist it around. This is why when they put up the, they put up Egyptian movies, anything pertains to ancient Egypt, they gotta put a white pharaoh in there. Instead of the pharaoh being black, black like he's supposed to be, he gotta be white. That's why that's what I liked about Michael Jackson, because at least when Michael Jackson did his music video on the pharaoh, he had nothing but black entertainers. Why? Because Michael Jackson understood black culture. Michael Jackson knew that the Pharaoh himself and Queen, Queen Sheba was all black. Wasn't nobody in Egypt white at all. They have been taking our culture and screwing it around. For all you know, G. Craig Lewis is probably endorsed by these same people that accused my people of being evil. He's probably endorsed by them. Why else is he able to make so many videos trying to destroy hip-hop? But check this out, right? As much as this talking G. Craig Lewis has been doing about hip-hop and talking about black folks in his videos, because, yeah, he talks about some white people that's not the majority of them. What is G. Craig Lewis going to do when see all these artists and these labels basically see these videos and then they hit their lawyers up on speed down and they basically um, hit G. Craig, uh, G. Craig Lewis up with a lawsuit. They sue X Ministries for squindling their artists and basically bear, and basically lying on his people, lying on their own company. Because G. Craig Lewis basically took copyrighted material, he's taking other people's lyrics and posting them on there. Then accusing these artists of doing something evil. Okay, So what he going to do once these artists confront him? 
some of these artists that got goons that will go to his church and put and confront him face to face wherever he is and talk and tell him to take my stuff off. What is he gonna do then? He gonna ask God to bail him out of the trouble he caused? So y'all need to understand this right now. Do your own research. Stop listening to what other people say. Matter of fact, too, let, let's keep this real too, man. All this Illuminati stuff, this secret society stuff, this OTO Waffle Man, are they approaching you right now? I'm getting tired of hearing this, man. This y'all ain't got nothing to worry about at all. If you're a Christian person, why should you be scared of the devil? Okay? Like I told y'all in my last video, I question a lot of people's faith. See, the problem with G. Craig Lewis is that he keeps doing these videos because he's jealous of hip-hop getting this money. This is what this comes down to. Yeah, isn't it obvious? The reason why people like G. Craig Lewis and Bark Dice, the reason why they talk about the Illuminati so much, and these people that go on YouTube, I told y'all, most of them are attention seekers. All right? They want people to listen to them. They want to be worshipped. Okay? All G. Craig Lewis is doing in the black community is making black folks stare at their own people. He wants black people to accuse other successful black people of being evil. Okay, he can't never just be happy for su their success. Okay, when all these artists, Asap Rocky has denied worshiping, has said he worshiped God. Big Sean has done interviews saying Jay Z and Kanye West don't worship the devil. All these artists have denied this already. So if these artists is going on the interviews denying it means it's actually true. There's some truth behind it. And y'all gotta understand this too that a lot of these artists come from backgrounds like you and me. Some of them was raised in the church. A lot of them was raised in the hood. I don't like the fact that UK Lewis came to my church the last time he came here trying to say that fatherless children, children grow up without dad is, a, is what's wrong with hip-hop. It's the reason why they talking about all this negativity. They talking about all this devil stuff. But instead of, first of all, these children didn't get choose, didn't choose to be born into who they were born into. Okay, let's get this, let's get an understanding right now. This is where G. Craig Lewis is retarded at. This is where his mind is basically evil. This is where he confuses y'all, okay? G. Craig Lewis tried to use his reverse psychiatry to trick y'all, okay? A lot of these children have had to grow up in the hood, have to grow up in poverty because their fathers are not taking care of them. Instead of getting on the, the um getting on the kids for not having a father, get on these deadbeat fathers for not taking care of their parents, not taking care of their children. Get on these parents for not doing a good job raising their sons. Get on these men who would rather do drugs, who would rather drink their alcohol, who would rather smoke their weed, who would rather gang bang. Who rather go out there and pimp other women instead of taking care of kids? G. Curry Lewis, get on them right now. Leave artists like Drake alone. First of all, Drake had both of his parents growing up in Toronto, Canada. Drake is from the grassy. G. Curry Lewis don't know nothing about Drake at all with that bull crap, man. And y'all listen to this man. Drake had both of his parents. Drake grew up in Canada. G. Curry Lewis don't know a thing about Drake to be assuming that. And how you gonna talk about LeBron James? I'm tired of this crap. LeBron James' mother did a good job raising him. She did the best she could. It's not LeBron James' fault his daddy wasn't freaking there. I'm tired of this crap, man. People got people make decisions on their own. Y'all need to stop putting the decision making on other body else and put your decision on yourself right now. People don't just do bad things because they don't got a daddy. And if, if you're adult, if you over the age of 18 and you decide to do crime, you're doing crime because you want to do it. Not because you don't got no daddy around. Y'all need to stop with this crap, okay? G. Craig Lewis, you need to get mad. Get Put the blame on these fathers. These low-down black men who don't take care of their kids. And that's with all races. Get mad at them right now. Stop putting the blame on these um, on these entertainers who don't who grew up without no father, okay? It ain't their fault. You can't say that they weak. Their mothers did the best thing they could for them. Because I was one of them children, okay? But see, I don't, my mom taught me not to make excuses. Just because my dad wasn't in, my, wasn't in my life doesn't mean that I got to put the blame on somebody else because of what I'm doing wrong. So that's all I want to say in this video, folks. Stop believing the hate. This is basically to expose who's really behind all this secret society Illuminati crap, and it's G. Craig Lewis. It's these white folks, and it's G. Craig Lewis basically working for them. Because that's what he basically is. He's working for them right now. Okay? And I'm going to say, you can't watch TV. Every time you turn around, people will have a long discussion about black folks being a part of Illuminati when you just spread rumors. Because who knows for sure they're really part of such secret society. And if this secret society does exist, how does it affect you? Y'all gotta ask this too, man. All the stuff G.K. Lewis is talking about don't shouldn't affect you at all. If you are a man or woman of God, you shouldn't believe in the devil at all. The devil should not worry you at all. God has not given you a spirit of fear. So stop letting what he what he's saying scare you right now. All that Alice and Crawley stuff, you shouldn't be worrying about it if you don't pay attention to it. Don't let it bother you. All this Illuminati stuff, these secret societies have never came. First of all, these secret societies are not gonna come up to you, they're not gonna pay your bills. They're not going to pay your rent. They're not going to give you a job anyway. 
Let's just let's just be honest right now. They're not going to do nothing for you. So why should you be worried about them? Some of y'all need to stop worrying about this, this satanic stuff and worry about your life right now. Stop letting people like G. Craig Lewis scare y'all for fulfilling your dream. If y'all want to be singers, you want to be rappers, go ahead and do it. Stop letting this man, this preacher, this barefoot witnessing try to scare y'all and think that everybody in the industry is worshiping the devil because they really not. That's just ignorant and it's stupid as hell and all he's doing is making money from it. That's all it is. It's a tool to make money off our black people's success. All hip hop ain't bad, okay? If y'all don't believe me, go and research this yourself. Go look up these lyrics, okay? Y'all need to go read more books, okay? Y'all need to study your African culture because if you study where you come from, you'll know that your people originally existed for thousands of years. You come from royalty, okay? There's no need There's no need to be worshiping the damn devil. And I'm going to tell you something else that G. Craig Lewis and some of these other preachers I never tell you at all, okay? Christianity was originally was taught to our slaves by the slave masters, okay? And it was simply the slave masters taught our slaves that they took out of our, the land of Africa and forced to work here in America for slavery for 400 years and taught to them so the slaves could basically obey them. So the slaves could basically not disobey them so they won't rebel. Because in the Bible, it talks about people owning slaves. Obey your master, okay? It's in that Old Testament. Go look at it. Go research that, okay? I believe in God, but I don't believe in God the way the slave master wants me to believe in God. I don't believe in no white Jesus, okay? I'm pretty sure G. Craig Lewis had to be covered that, but if G. Craig Lewis will uh, tell you, if you know this all right, he'll know that the slave masters rewrote that Bible, okay? He know that a lot of those words that we look into, the first to the Ten Commandments, it came out of ancient Egypt. It came from them walls. Go look this stuff up, okay? G. Craig Lewis will never tell you about the slave masters teaching the slaves about God so they can obey them, so they can beat them, all right? He ain't, he's not going to tell you anything. He ain't going to tell you about the slave days. He's not going to tell you about, the, he ain't going to tell you the fact that our people existed for thousands of years and that black, that our African people weren't even worshiping Christianity. He's not going to tell you at all. Why? Because he's not going to do it. It's going to interfere with his word. It's going to interfere with his message and you paying money into the offering basically to give to him. It's going to interfere with his DVDs, okay? Y'all got to understand something too. That a lot, there's a lot of people that's not going to be basically, uh, Buy into the truth about hip hop because it sabotages the music they listen to, okay? There's a lot of artists who's going to be against those videos because they're talking about them. So G. Craig, Lewis, no, G. Craig Lewis knows this. G. Craig Lewis will never go on the street passing out those DVDs at all. He'll go to the church only. Why? Because he knows church folks take their Christianity seriously and they're going to believe every word he says. They're not going to research. And this is sad too. And I'm not saying this is all black people in general. This is just a majority of them. Like I told y'all before, there's a lot of black people who are lost. They're brainwashed, okay? These people that go on YouTube and they put up all this satanic symbolism and they put up all this crazy music and they accuse my black people of being Illuminati because I told y'all, the main ones who accuse of worshiping the devil, who's accused of being a part of Illuminati are black folks. More so than it is Caucasian, okay? Yeah, a lot of these Caucasian artists in the rock and heavy metal was worshiping the devil, even though it was an all them and some of them, that's not new, okay? But I told y'all, it's mostly black people every time you turn off the TV, you turn on those, these sports events, it's always black people being accused of being a part of a satanic cult. Always. That's how it's been for the last eight, nine years. So G. Craig Lewis has found a way to manipulate black folks. And why, where do you do it? At the church. This man is not going to go on the street passing out those DVDs at all because a lot of people go look at him like he's stupid as hell. The people who are educated, the people who do know the truth, they're not going to take G. Craig Lewis seriously at all. They're going to look at him like he's another, another crooked ass preacher. He's another preacher that's taking advantage of God's word for his own benefit. And that's what he's basically doing. So I, I challenge any one of y'all right now to go read more books. Study what he says and go research it. Go Google it. All right? Because the definition of a new line means to be that light to us. Doesn't mean, that necessarily mean it's to be evil. It's just to scare y'all from becoming a millionaire. That's what it basically is. It's just a tool. And G. Craig Lewis knows the church is easily misled. Okay, he knows that a lot of these other pastors have took advantage of it, so he's taking advantage of it himself. When actually, he could know he could know the truth already. He's just basically brainwashing y'all right now. Because he knows black people are easily misled. So that's just what I want to point out, folks. You know, and I know this video is long right now, but that's just what y'all need to know, man. Y'all need to know what's really going on right now. Stop believing everything you hear. Stop letting the Illuminati, stop letting the devil scare you for becoming a millionaire. Matter of fact, if you're a Christian... You know that you can change this industry anyway. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let Majid Craig Lewis and some of these other stupid conspiracists 
Conspiracy theorists scare y'all into believing what you want to believe. Live your own life right now. Worship God, believe in God, but just know that everybody that you just can't go off judging somebody. Because at the end of the day, we don't live with these people at all. We're not around them. We don't live their life at all. We're not related to them. So if they don't, if they're not worried about you, why should you be worried about them? And in the comment section, ask me, how has the Illuminati affected you right now? What has the devil done to you right now that God hasn't protected you from? Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.